RH says, Hi Gil, what's your experience on the TRT honeymoon phase? Why am I only feeling like Superman on the first one to two months, then after just feeling uh, mad? Um, yeah, this is what we call sensory adaptation. Very common. Everything in your body works pretty much in that. Your body will always find uh, homeostasis. That is just a level of normalcy. And you have to remember that contrast, okay? The, the concept of yin-yang. Nothing can exist without its opposite. There's no light without darkness. There's no big without small. There's no cold without hot, right? Everything is a contrast. So if I tell you to step into a shower and I leave the water at 115 degrees Fahrenheit, you're gonna walk in and you're gonna jump in and you're gonna say, are you crazy? This water's burning hot. But if I turn the water down to 98 degrees and you step in and you shower and five minutes later, I put it at 104, and five minutes later, I put it at 108, and five minutes later, I put it at 115, you're gonna be perfectly comfortable. You're gonna step out of that 115 degree shower that you couldn't step into earlier. The next guy is gonna step in there and he's gonna say, how the hell did you tolerate this? It's burning hot. This is sensory adaptation. Your body went from a state of super low T to optimal slash high T. And you felt that pretty significantly, hopefully in a positive manner. And in your case, it sounds like you did because you use Superman as an analogy. Some guys develop terrible anxiety and this so-called honeymoon phase for them is actually a nightmare, but it still comes down to a drastic change in contrast. Now you've been here. This is your new norm. This is your new 115 degree shower, right? This is what happens to drug addicts, right? They come in and they start, you know, they use a drug and they say, oh, this is great. This is great. And what happens a month into that? They say, well, I think I need a little bit more because I don't feel that high anymore. Now I have a tolerance. Now I feel or, or alcoholics, right? You know, I can have two beers and I'm not good to drive. And then there's people who could down a, a bottle of vodka and get in a car and you'll never know they were drunk. So at the end of the day, sensory adaptation is very powerful. It's your body's way of adjusting. Understand, and this may help you a little via placebo effect. And I know Steven's frozen now, but I'll keep going. Um, uh, you, you're back, Steven? I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. I didn't slow down for you this time. Um, <laughs> you know, one thing that may help you a little bit is the placebo effect of accepting and understanding that your body has made a new norm. And this is a good thing. It is now adapted to being in an optimal state. It is no longer in a depressed state. It is in an optimal state. While you may not feel that optimal state anymore, understand that your body and your mind are still benefiting from it. Go into it with an optimistic and optimal outlook. So if we're accelerating in a car from zero to 100, we feel that acceleration. Once we hit 100, we hit the cruise control. You don't feel like you're moving anymore, but you're still moving at 100 miles an hour. Your body is still optimal. So if you learn to accept that, you may start to regain some of the benefits of understanding where you are today compared to where you came from. Thank you.